This is the Black TV Show Podcast, hosted by Miriam Temeskin. Welcome back to the podcast. Today we're talking about bringing your sister to school day or school weekend. Uh, This is episode 85, A Different World, season 1, episode 6, Rudy and the Snow Queen. I really didn't like this episode, I'll be honest. This is probably might be the shortest podcast episode in life, maybe, for this podcast. But we'll see. Uh, this episode aired uh, November 5th, 1987, the same day that The Cosby Show Season 4, Episode 7, Autumn Gifts. So the synopsis for this episode is Rudy chooses Whitley as a role model when she spends a weekend visiting Denise. Um, why is this a storyline in a show about college? This might happen in real life, which is fine, but for a show that's about college life, why is this an episode? I'm so lost, okay? I really didn't like this episode. I, I really, I like Rudy. Like, I love Ke- Keisha Knight Pulliam as Rudy, but they shouldn't have brought her onto here. So, I don't know. This is, whatever. So, <laughs> this is now the second episode of Cliff and Rudy being on a different world. None of the other family members are at this point. Of course, we will see, I believe, um, uh, Malcolm will come on, uh, Tempest will come on, even the, what's her name, the friend of Tempest, I can't remember her name, it's not Jan- Janet, it's the other girl, um, Felicia will be coming on, so there, and I believe also Russell's coming on too, on this season, so there'll be a few more other people, but if, at this moment in time, we've only had Cliff and Rudy come on twice on the different worlds. And uh, we see Rudy is in Gilbert Hall. She's going to be spending the weekend at Hillman with with Denise. Um, and Rudy goes meets JT, which we don't see on camera. And uh, Denise is on the phone with Cliff being like, oh, I didn't realize how much I miss Rudy. What kind of storyline is this? <laughs> because there's, a, there's going to be an episode in season four when um, Denise comes back to... New York, Brooklyn, New York, and uh, she doesn't spend the whole weekend with her family. She spends the weekend with her friends. And so, but yet she had the option to spend the weekend with her family and she didn't. Um, And so this storyline just doesn't make sense to what Denise is like, you know? And even in season two and season three, she just didn't want to spend as much time with the family. So it's just like, I don't know, like, why would Rudy just all of a sudden she realizes how much she misses her. Like, it's, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. I really don't like this episode. <laughs> That's just how I am. Um, and then so uh, Whitley comes down and meets Rudy, and Rudy is start- it likes Whitley, which, you know, no one at this point likes her, which, as I said, this whole first season is just messed up, okay? Just, it doesn't connect to the actual characters in other shows or other seasons okay and so then Rudy goes and meets Maggie and Delisa in the dorm room and Delisa found out that her friend saw Lamar her ex-husband at the bar with her baby sister Yvonne and uh, Rudy is asking so many questions just like a normal child so that that made sense and uh, uh, Denise was like can we not talk about this in front of the child and they're like yeah well, let's go to the pit so Maggie and Delisa go and Rudy was like, what's the pit? And uh, Denise explains what it is. And she, Rudy's like, I want to go to the pit. And they're like, okay. So they're, now we're at the pit and they're all eating now. And Jaleesa is still talking about her ex-husband being with her baby sister. And the fact that they both didn't answer their phones, so that, which means they're probably hanging out together. And so Jaleesa is trying to speak in code by spelling out words. And Maggie is not getting it. And finally, Rudy actually catches on, and she's like, oh, he, he's a playboy? <laughs> I love how, she, like, like when I heard it, I, I, I couldn't, ca- like, I couldn't even catch the first word that she spelled out. But, like, that's how, <laughs> that's how I am. I, it's, it takes me, like, don't talk to me in code. Tell me it's straightforward, because or else I won't understand. So clearly, Rudy's a smart girl to be able to catch that. And so then D- Dwayne comes, and Rudy's excited to see him, and the only reason why... He, 
she recognizes Dwayne is because of the glasses. And uh, by the way, those glasses are so iconic. It's always it's 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 in trend right now. Like I've I was watching um, a few years ago. It was a it was from a few years ago, but I did watch it this year uh, of the BET Awards. And someone was actually wearing those glasses at the BET Awards, and I was like, oh, th see, this is this is why a different world is legendary. It's created trends in, tr in terms of the fashion and also the fact that it got a lot of students deciding to go to HBCU. And so then Rudy and Dwayne started dancing the pit randomly. <laughs> what? Like this is like the pit will look so much different in season two. It's like it's it's not gonna be like this so it's just I don't know whatever and so uh we are back to uh, uh the Gilbert Hall in the dorm room and it's nighttime it's time to go to the bed basically but Rudy's not comfortable in the bed she like the Denise is hanging in the covers there's no room like she even says to Denise oh you've grown what I think Rudy you have grown since we saw you since season one you have grown a lot so it's you that has grown okay and so finally Denise was like let's go ask Willie about the guest bed because there's a guest bed in Willie's room see this doesn't make sense why does Whitley have a guest bed and not have someone there why are these three girls all in one room doesn't make sense to me I, I I've, I've said this already in the other episodes but it's just like it doesn't make sense to me okay and so Willie decides to take Rudy in to come to her room. And so uh, the girls leave and Rudy stays. And Rudy's wearing this p pajama dress that uh, Willie has for her. Just randomly that fits her size. <laughs> Does Willie just have a bunch of kids come by her dorm room? I'm, I'm a little confused. Uh, and so Willie gives her cr uh, crown to Rudy that she won from Miss Mongolia. And I didn't, I've, he I've heard like... There's a movie called, oh, I can't remember, but it it has the word Mongolia in it. And I was like, oh, what does Mongolia mean? And it's a, apparently it means a flower. Uh, but Miss Mongolia is an actual pageant uh, in Mississippi. So we realize that Willie is from Mississippi. And that's probably why she has her accent, okay? Um, so... Uh, the scene, so the scene that the, between Whitley and Rudy just seems so fake. Uh, you know, um, Whitley's telling, her, uh, Rudy to put Vaseline on her teeth to make her teeth be brighter. I don't know if that's true, but it, the, it seems like it wouldn't taste good. So I don't know about that, but whatever, let's move on. And, uh, oh yeah, and the makeup, you know, Rudy says she can't wear makeup. And you remember that episode with Vanessa, how she got in trouble for wearing makeup? So Rudy is really taking it serious at this point. Uh, but she decides to wear some of Whitley's perfume. And Willie decides to call Rudy Lillian because that is her middle name. And so uh, it's the next morning and Rudy is talking uh, like Willie and with the accent that Willie has. And Denise is just in shock, like, all of a sudden now you're Willie? Like, what? And uh, Denise asks, like, oh, what do you want to do today? And Rudy was like, I want to go shop today. And, like, Denise was like, what? <laughs> shop i thought we we're gonna go to the doll museum um and uh rudy was like i want to go to the women's studies tea because whitley's going and uh, denise was like oh okay jaleesa comes in and she says that yvonne still hasn't picked up her phone that which means she's still with lamar okay and so uh, rudy says men will try but women must deny i don't know what that means <laughs> Did she get that? She probably got that from Whitley, okay? We, let's be honest on that part. And so we're at the tea, and Whitley, Rudy, and Denise are there, and Rudy's just following everything that Willie, Whitley is doing, uh, and Denise is sitting on the table, which is so that she's breaking etiquette rules right there, okay? And so um, Denise is just, like, frustrated, and so she goes to the side because she's bored and she doesn't want to deal with this. And Dwayne comes and Denise tells Dwayne what's happening with Rudy. And Dwayne was like, oh, well, you know, Whitley is fine. This is the first sign of the the connection between Dwayne and Whitley. The fact that he, he li and he didn't say fine, like it's, she's just fine. She, he says fine, okay, with that energy right there, okay? So this is a sign. And as I said, I probably have already spoiled it for you guys. But Whitley and Dwayne will eventually get married and... Uh, by the end of the series, 
will have a child. Well, not on the show, but is going to be pregnant. So this is the start, but it's a little start. It's not like a full start. And so it's later on, and uh, Denise tells Maggie and Jaleesa what happened at the tea, and that her parents will need to deprogram her. And Maggie brings up the the book Little Woman. And you know what's crazy when I heard about that Little Woman? I heard I. I remember the movie coming out in 2019. I I was, as I, I think I've mentioned before, I was the assistant to Bob Odekirk, and I would get emails about Little Woman because he was actually in the movie. Uh, this was the 2019 version, but apparently there is... The book came out... Oh, I can't remember when the book came out. But, uh, sorry, the, the, na- the first version of it was 1994 that came out, and then there was a 2019... And uh, I remember hearing about like about the press for Little Women because I was working with Bob Odekirk at that time, and so Maggie says it, it, it's their situations with like with Jalisa and her sister Yvonne and Denise and Rudy. Their situations are very similar in terms of the relationship with the sisters. You know, getting frustrated with your sister. You know, with not picking up the phone or not picking a different person as their role model maggie brings up this book as it relates to their situations of you know they they know they love their sisters even though they're in this rough time at this point and so jaleesa is going to call yvonne and then denise realized you know it's like life repeating itself you know sandra spent uh saved up so much money to go to this christmas show at radio city hall and i didn't want to go to it so i guess i gotta let rudy be who she wants to be so jaleesa is on the phone and yvonne picks up finally and we find out that her phone was out of order for the whole day see this is the hard life with a phone you like imagine that if someone like if i my cell phone was out of order all day so people would think i'm dead <laughs> it's uh, that's how bad it is but you know at least um with jaleesa's case she just thought uh, her sister was with lamar that's why and so uh jaleesa's like oh okay fine and uh, yvonne mentions that lamar mentioned jaleesa's name and uh also the fact that uh yvonne had a tuna salad which means i guess they wouldn't have kissed afterwards because of the smell, I'm assuming that's why. So Jaleesa was like super happy that she picked the tuna salad. And so Jaleesa was like, have a a good evening. And she hangs up the phone and then decides to go to Whitley's room and talk about Rudy, how you're taking Rudy away from Denise. And Whitley was like, I don't really care. (laughs) You guys are the ones who brought her into my room. So it's not my fault. And so, and then while this is happening... When Jaleesa leaves and she starts plucking her eyebrows like so like hard like she's like so angry it just it was funny to me the way that she did it and then Rudy comes in and wants to visit Rudy again in the future and Whitley was like well yeah but you're gonna visit Denise first you know and uh Willie noticed that you know Rudy is really mesmerized by her so uh, she decides to tell a story from a book, and it's called The Snow Queen, and that's where this title of this episode is coming from. And uh, it's basically talking about sisters should love each other and spend time together. I think that's, I would say that's the gist of it. Um, and basically, don't spend time, I forgot how, what Whitley was, like, the, 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 the story that she was talking about was about three different people, two being the sisters and the third person being, like, Whitley. So she she was basically saying that the sisters need to spend time together. And Rudy asks, like, do you think Denise is still awake? And uh, Rudy decides to go see uh, Denise. It's the next day, and uh, Denise and Rudy are back together talking. You know, they're talking about Peter and her his, like, coat his brand new coat, and then finally Rudy wants to go to the doll museum. So she is back to normal, to her normal self. And Whitley comes in and mentions uh, how (laughs) those two sisters, Denise and Rudy, are so different from each other. And uh, Whitley says goodbye, you know, Lillian. Uh, And then she goes back and says, oh, Rudy. But uh, yeah, and that's the end of this episode. So this is the strange part of this episode. So we had Bill Cosby as Cliff Huxtable. We had Keisha Knight Pulliam as Rudy Huxtable. But then there was three other credits that I don't recall seeing in the show. 
Uh, maybe their scenes were cut out, I believe. So we had, uh, yet again, B.B. Smith as Gloria, Kim Waynes as Allison, and John Wardard as Walter. So I, I don't know if there was a scene with them and it just got cut out. That that happens. So, But I just, I don't recall seeing them. Um yeah, so I don't know what's the deal with that. And uh, there, for this episode, there is no question, no le- uh, lesson, uh, f- because I really don't like this episode, and I really don't want to discuss this episode. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I, I might be a little rude on that, but it's just like the storyline for this was horrible and does not align to the show of... Uh, a different worlds and the Hillman values of this show. Okay, uh, so we're we're going to skip for today. Okay, so the next episode is episode eighty six, the Cosby Show, season two, episode six, Halloween. Uh, th- as I said previously, we I decided to I purposely des- uh, decided to skip this episode because it was about Halloween, and I I was like, why don't we just wait a few months? until Halloween comes along. So we're going to have this on on Thursday, right before Halloween is on this upcoming Sunday, okay? And I will see you all on the next one.